Hi and welcome to Encore's Time Master version 2.2 .2 and 2.3 update. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is that in front of the amount fields we now have the currency symbol just to differentiate between that and values. Okay, also if we tap on the header here and change it to start or stop, you'll see that it has the duration now of the time of the event instead of the amount. Okay, and let's say uh, that we're going to put in a new entry here. Client, and we'll just pick ABC and save. And you can see that we have one minute. We have something now requested called minimum duration. And say that no matter what, when you do a job for someone, say that you're tech support, you drive out, you don't want to charge less than 30 minutes, even if you only spend 10 minutes there. We set that in the minimum duration. And now you can see that that's 30 minutes. So as the time goes up, and we'll say that we'll go to 30 minutes. We'll save here. And then once you go past the 30 minutes, you'll see that the standard one minute rounding takes place for our standard rounding. So that will set a minimum, and then after it crosses that minimum, it will start taking over by your standard rounding. Okay, now off to the expenses. And we'll add a new expense here. And put in the client. I want to, oh, here's something of interest. If you um, have large lists, you may want to use the search box to search for your, uh, could be a project, task, expenditure, client and even if you put in something in the middle of a word like C, you'll find anything with a C in it. We'll put the M he from Acme. So we'll choose Acme. Okay, so that's new. And the amount. And we'll say that it costs $20. And also we've added in this version now, we've added a cost. So if you want to do cost analysis, you can do that. Say so it costs us $15 to make this widget and you can see now that our gross profit margin is 25 percent from 15 and selling it for twenty dollars okay also if you purchase something and you want to keep track of that you can add in a pay method you can add a new one if you want and uh, create these so we'll say we paid with a MasterCard say that uh, we bought this whatever it is widget at CVS we'll put that in here and this is just used for exporting. Okay. Also, note that whenever you create a new item, it's automatically marked as reimbursable. And we also have a reported flag starting with version 2.3. Let me just put this as a widget. Done and save. Okay, so let's go into the reported now the reports and show you reported. Okay, we have, uh, we'll run this from January 1st to May 31st and what we're going to want to have set is a filter called reported and we're going to set this to no which means that it will only pick up items that have not been marked as reported. Okay, so we're going to generate this report and we get all our items here and now we're going to mail this out and after it's mailed out, we hit send. And it will ask us if we want to mark these uh, items as reported or not. So here we go, email sent successfully. Would you mark, like to mark these as reported? So we're going to say yes. Okay, so now if we go back to the main report screen, and if we generated, you see that there's no items here. And if we go in and we'll say, we'll bop this up through August and we generate now you'll see that we get more items but these are only from May beyond May so here we have all the things only in August so that's how the reported flag works